This is part two of your art project. We're going to learn how to create a line. We can create a line in the standard slope intercept format. You can simply just use the cursor keys to edit it to change your line to something else, change the constants. It's not hard. And if you want to get rid of it altogether, just hit the X. And if you make a mistake, click undo. To set the color of the line, what we want to do is hold the button until the color menu shows up. Then we can change the color to what we like. We can also change the style. You'll probably just stick with a solid one, but if you needed a dotted one, you can do this as well. Okay? And then just click anywhere else to get rid of that menu. You can hit enter for your next equation. We can also enter the equation in general form. So 3x minus 4y plus 10 equals 0. So that's in general form. Desmos has no problem working in general form. And again, we can zoom in if we want to see more detail. Now, one thing that we need to do with the lines is they go on to infinity. So we want to limit where they go. And to limit this, we just put in a curly bracket and we can say zero is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to five. So that sets the domain. We can also set the range. So all we have to do is go 0 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 5. Okay, so here you can see that y is restricted from 0 to 5, and x is also restricted from 0 to 5. It figures out what the necessary y values are for x, and it figures out the necessary x values for this y. If you wanted to use that same line, we can break this into multiple segments. All we have to do is insert a comma. Let's say we want to go from 7 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 10. Okay, so now we have a segment here and a segment here. That way we don't have to re-enter the equation of the line. Now, one thing Desmos does nicely is it figures out intersections. That's where the lines meet. So this is two-thirds and three. It gives you decimal values, but you can guess the fraction if you like. And now we can use point slope form. Y minus three equals 0.5 x minus 2 divided by 3. And I want to limit this from 2 thirds. It's less than or equal to x. It's less than or equal to 10. Okay, and that's how we create basic lines. If you don't like the order, you can click and drag and move the order around. And again, setting the color. If you want to set them all to the same color. And if you want to just turn the graph off for that line, we just click it. And this completes the tutorial for lines.